Often we happily spend money on maintaining our vehicles and homes, but are more reluctant to do so with our own bodies. While diet, exercise and clean living can go so far, our bodies sometimes can't keep up with demands and then injuries, aches and pains tend to become increasingly troublesome. This is because some of the vital nutrients the body uses to maintain our joints and general well-being have become depleted. On the flip side, it's astounding how well the body heals when it has what it needs. With Kane's Deer Velvet on board, the body is refueled with amazing nutrients it uses in maintaining the immune system, bones, joints, circulation and general well-being. With the tank topped up, it can get on with the magic of healing and restoration. Find out more at www.canesdearvelvet.com and use the code STAGRAW252 for a 20% discount. Welcome back to the 200 Club. We're into the final four. This one is Percival Mankalo in the Rangitiki Valley. Early doors, 1966. It's a nice 4x4. Four four. Uh, the lengths are 30 and 6x30 and 4 eighths. The spread is a nice wide 30 and three eighths, and the span is 23 and one eighth. The beams, they're four and seven by four and six, and the coronets are seven and four by seven and four. The brow tines, eight and one by seven and three. Trays are five and three by four and two eighths. The inner tops are nine and five by nine and one, and the outer tops are 12 by 10 and two. So still some pretty good numbers here. Uh, the total is a nice round 201. <coughs> Uh, Bert and Percy Mankalo set off into the hunting area of the Rangatiki River, turning off the Napier Topo Highway near Rangatiki um, Hotel at a place known as the Springs. Travelling a few miles past Lochinvar Station to a spot where they could leave their vehicle and walk in towards Duncan's hut. On arriving at their favoured locality, they discovered a Tokoro party in residence, so decided there and then to move on to an adjacent area known as the Old French Line behind Lochinvar Station. Hunting along the fringe of beech forest among scattered manuka scrub, the two brothers were watching a stretch of open country, when up out of a creek bed appeared a stag. It was nearing the end of the rut, and the stag appeared to be rather imprudent in his attitude towards the two hunters. Bert took aim and squeezed the trigger, but was the victim of a misfire. Oh dear. Not prepared to wait any longer, Percy aimed and let strip, but he too missed. The stag did not move. However, while Bert was trying to ascertain the cause of his problem, Percy managed to get another shot away, which killed the stag. Good on you, lads. Uh, got there in the end. So, a beautiful 201 there. Next, we've got Warren J. Mackay from uh, Back to Puka Tea Tree, Hawks Bay, of course. 2008. Make sure you're subscribed and you've left a rating and we'll see you then. This episode of the Big Game Records, it's number one, The Seeker, volume one. New Zealand Big Game Records series, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, Incorporated, incorporated written by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited. P.O. Box 360, Auckland, New Zealand. Um, the copyright is 1999, D.B. Banwell, updated edition 2009, first published 1999, all rights reserved. <laughs> 